just wa- listening to the show before ours, and uh, ESPN is leading with Derek Carr leading, leaving Las Vegas. It, it, it just uh, actually there are compelling arguments both ways. If you're the Jets, is Derek Carr good enough to win to win big for you? No, he's good enough to. No, he's good enough to play better than Zach Wilson and Mike White probably. I don't know. I think Derek Carr is better than I think he's better than waiting. you think he is good. Yeah, I know, but you keep waiting. Like you I, well, thought the I've Raiders seen are going to be play good well, though. And, and and they were like, "Well, Derek Carr can't win you in the play give you a game. Derek Carr has won plenty of games and he's won plenty of games late. He's I mean, it's not like Derek Carr, you know, can't win in the postseason. They weren't good enough, the Raiders weren't good enough, and for a lot of reasons and Derek Carr is one of them. There's a question here this morning. Should the Texans pick up Derek Carr? Nope. Absolutely not. Well, what's Derek Carr going to see? Jay Will, Jay Will goes, well, that's a $50 million. What? $50 million guy. Derek Carr, you can get Derek Carr, what, 25? 30 million is what supposedly is a starting. Alle- allegedly. Yeah. That's if anybody what, gives him 30. Well, that's what somebody with the Saints had put out there. That this could turn into a bidding war. Uh, I'm in a bidding war for Derek Carr. I'm not in a bidding war. Nine for years in the league Here's and has the- had two winning seasons in just two years ago, he had literally had uh, Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, Josh Jacobs, and they still can't like. It's just never material. The good thing about Derek Carr is he doesn't cost you all of the capital that Aaron Rodgers does. No, but I'm not interested in. I'm not interested in the city of Houston wants Bryce Young, and that's it. Yeah. Well, but here's the scary thing. Hey, oh yeah, you, did you hear Jim Irsay yesterday? Yeah. So does he. And the, and Ryan Pohl, Ryan Poles is so excited to hear Irsay. Publicly talk publicly. about Bryce Young from the four spot. Publicly, we'll have we have the sound. We'll yeah. play it a little bit later. Where where the owner says, well, "What about that Bryce Young guy?" We uh, trade, and he starts talking about trading up, and you hear Chris Ballard in the background go, "Or trade back and add picks." <laughs> I just said, "Can't you just let your owner have one?" Yeah. Why can't you yell about trading back and adding <laughs> picks like every GM? And <laughs> like when it comes to trading up, is an owner move. Trading back is a GM move. Just yeah. so you know. Yes. Yes, yes. Trading back is a fan base and an owner move. Trading back is a GM move. Because they've done the studies. They know that trading back is is much, much more successful than trading up. But but <clears throat> we know Jim Irsay is getting what he wants these days. So I would be concerned that Jim Irsay's out there yelling about, unless he's trying to goad the Texans into trading a pick to move up to one or something, which I don't feel like that's Jim Mercy. Uh, no, inception. but but it, it actually is working. If that's what well, his I've already goal. told you, my prediction is the Texans move to one. That's been my prediction when you were out. I mentioned it twice. I mentioned it last week when you were on. I don't. The Texans, I believe, will move I, from two to one. I don't. I'm not happy with you right now. Yeah. Well, right. I believe this is going to happen, and right. I believe it even more strongly now that Jim Mercy is publicly saying that because Cal McNair is throwing up the H and saying, "Uh oh, we got to do what we got to do to move up to one." I just really believe that's going to happen. That they want Bryce Young or bust. I'm not. What if they don't like C.J. Stroud? And what if Bryce Young goes one? Are you drafting defense or is it Will Levis? Trade back. I don't think they trade back. I think they the smart move is draft defense. No, you. Can if you trade. don't like one of those quarterbacks, you draft a defender. You yeah. draft Will. You draft Jalen or Will Anderson, and you move on to the 12th pick. Don't get cute. And then at twelve, you get unless you want to flip flop, you know. But you just—I don't want you outside and, the top. And then at, at twelve, who knows? Maybe, maybe uh, Levis is there because Carolina takes uh, C.J. Stroud. Uh, yeah, possibly. You know, there's talk about Derek Carr going to Carolina. Uh, but the they're, Raiders, they're the, the Raiders are also there too, and they need, <clears throat> they need quarterback. Yeah, they do now. And what they're ta- the Raiders are the favorite to get Aaron Rodgers. The Panthers, this is an odds that came out yesterday that should be in your email also. The Panthers are the favorite to get Derek Carr. Well, let's say that happens. Derek Carr goes there, and, and Aaron Rodgers goes there. Now you got two teams that aren't looking to draft quarterback, more than likely. So all of a sudden, there could be a clear pathway for quarterback at 12. And I got news for you. I wouldn't freak out if Will Levis got drafted 12th. I would not be happy if he got drafted second. But if you drafted him 12th and you got another player in the first, you know, because – only because you have two first round picks. Then you got yeah. you still ended up getting value at two. You got you got a good player too, and now you've got a quarterback at twelve that you you didn't have to spin it in the top four picks. Still, but, but they, twelve is, is twelve a quarterback should be a I don't want to say a franchise oh, guy. Oh, no, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's a, that's right around where 
Deshaun went. It's right around where Mahomes went. Well, that, it's, then it's going to be, why didn't you take Anthony Richardson? There's not... M- most people have... Le- I have Richardson ahead of Levis. Most people have Levis ahead of Richardson. Like, it's not... Most people have Levis ahead of Richardson that I've talked to. But um, it is... I've got him 70th. Like, Dane Brugler has him 7th. Will Levis on his list. Or he has him 10th on his list. Daniel Jeremiah has him higher on the list. And I talked to DJ and I said, look... I gave him a 6'2", a high 6'2", which is an average starter. It's kind of like what Jimmy Garoppolo is, right? An average, very average NFL starter. And he goes, yeah, that's fair. But I said, you know, if I had to stack them like where I would take them, I'd probably put Will Levis inside my top, you know, inside my top 40 is where I would put Will Levis. My grade has some, he's the 70th, 70th highest player I've graded. But where I would pick him because he's quarterback is, is much higher. Is going to be maybe even in the 30s. Um, but if the Texans took on 12th, I think, I think there is a real conversation to be had about has, has, were there some things said, or is there some hard feelings with David Mulgetta and his clients with the Texans yes. at two? Yes. Yes. No um, question. No question. You know, if, if, if the, when, when, when yesterday's the first time I heard a little, I heard a little whisper that it ain't all roses when you talk to the staff at Ohio State. Um, on C.J. Stroud. Now, we heard some of the same stuff with Justin Fields, so I don't know. I mean, those are guys just being real about players. That happens all the time, uh, depending on how well you know it, and with all kinds of quarterbacks. Now, I can tell you, Bryce Young gets a very, very clean bill of health. There's not a negative thing said about him. I dug in on that one day, and it's like, Bryce Young... Did you talk to Bill O'Brien? <laughs> no, I did not talk to Bill O'Brien. But if you... uh, Do you ever see him in the peps... Uh, the, Dr. Pepper yeah. commercial, you can just tell, like, man, this kid is, he can really handle a spotlight. He was funny in the commercial. He has, like, he has a quality where he can stand in front of a microphone and cameras and be fine. He'd be fine in New York, for example. And that's a good litmus test. How would you do in New York? I always felt like Baker Mayfield would not do well in New York because of his personality. I didn't think Zach Wilson would do well in New York. It takes a certain personality. Trevor Lawrence would be great in New York. Yeah. Uh, Bryce Young, I think he'd be great in New York. Yeah. And when I say that, it means how do you handle the lights and potential ups and downs of the media? I don't think Bryce Young, I love the intangibles of Bryce Young. CJ Stroud, I don't know. I don't know well enough. But Okay. But what if you what if the Texans don't like CJ Stroud? They don't want to draft a what if they don't want to draft a David Mulgetta client? Uh I I think that's a bad way to go about it, but I could cert- I understand it. But that's very Texans of them. Very what if they Texans. just don't like the player. They might, then that's another story. Yeah, that's a, a different, different story. Deal. But if you love the player and you're I, not going to draft him because with you. of the because you gotta, of the agent, you, you got to get over you it. Gotta, yeah, you have to get over get it. You over have it. to do what's best for your team. So are you telling me that there's a chance? So you're saying there's a chance. What if they, they give up 2 and 12 for Bryce Young? No. Okay. No. Thank you. No, you can't do that. Okay. Now you might have to give up a... A future one, if the a future what, one. This is the problem. This is the problem that you, or maybe this year's two and next year's two. The problem is what you're running into is if the Colts start to push, if the Raiders start to push, if the Panthers push, and you get a second team in the and and I can just tell you now, if I'm Chicago, I'm leaking as much stuff as I can to create it, to to make the Texans pan. Nobody was happier. With with Jim Irsay oh, yesterday than God. Ryan Poles. Ryan Nobody. Poles had to be thrilled. Ryan Poles was he just had to ecstatic. be thrilled. Like, look at the owner. I couldn't have scripted it any better. Now, next time Cal throws up an H, he better know that he's going to have to come with some draft picks to get Bryce Young. That's that's what Ryan Poles is probably thinking. Yeah. So that was a nightmare scenario for me to hear Jim Irsay of all people who's hiring who's now hiring Jeff Saturday out of the off the television set. I mean, has there. Has there been anybody more ready to to fire away than Jim Irsay right now? So well, if you're hearing the owner say that at a press conference announcing the head coach, this is a press conference for the head coach. Here's what it sounds like. You got a press conference for the head coach, and inside this press conference, he's mentioning Bryce Young. Okay, here he is because Lamont says, I listened to the press conference. Irsay was clearly making a joke and poking fun of himself when he mentioned the Alabama quarterback. I didn't think so. Let's hear. We're not hiding it. You know, no one can shy away from the fact what quarterback means in this league and how we have to look going forward where, where Shane and Chris really, you know, dig into this draft and really see where you're at. Do you stay put? Do you trade up? 
you know, there, there's many things you can do. Uh, they took Jalen in the second round. So, trade um, back. yeah, a trade back. So, um, he likes that'll picks. Be a, that'll be a Twitter <laughs> freaking quote. He, he likes picks. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, although the Alabama guy doesn't look bad, I tell you. Um, that, that ain't making fun that of ain't joking. That's ain't him. Joking. Giving a, that's him giving his opinion. That ain't joking, uh, Lamont. That, that's the heat. That he absolutely, although the Alabama kid does look good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's given his uh, opinion about one of the quarterbacks. Oh, my good. Oh, my goodness. Um, that is <laughs> that is problematic. That is very is. problematic. Uh, and that is that just means, oh, now is Cal going to get up there and talk about? I, I hope. What if, what if Cal gets up there and starts talking? That Florida quarterback looks pretty damn good to me, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think Kentucky looks uh, really good. Uh, the kid from he wears a <laughs> headband in Kentucky. I like it. <clears throat> Have you seen the Purdue guy, Aiden O'Connell? Gives me Davis Mills vibes. What about the Fresno State kid, Jake Hayner? <laughs> he looks good. He, well, you know we had a Fresno State quarterback here before, Max Dugan. Did anyone see Max Anybody Dugan see? against Michigan? Yeah, that was good. What about Georgia? Well, uh, I don't even know what that who means. Is he? <laughs> For the H. That's a G. We're looking for H, guys. 